A legless Iraqi war veteran is hurled and thrown off from a roller coaster in upstate New York. Hi, come on in. I'm Jerry Oginski, a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. I reported on this horrible tragedy uh, about a week and a half ago, and there's a follow-up story in today's New York Post, and it indicates that this double amputee, who is an Iraq war veteran, who was hurled off the towering roller coaster to his death, never should have been allowed up on the roller coaster. Why not? Because the roller coaster, the way that you're supposed to be belted in and secured, you're supposed to go, the belt and the restraining system is supposed to go around your lap. What was the problem? This Iraq war veteran had no lap, yet he had asked the people at the park, can I still go on this ride? You know what they said? Yes, no problem. Well, according to this article, it says that no criminal charges will be brought against them even though they violated park policy. And there were signs at the Ride of Steel roller coaster at Darien Lake Theme Park that clearly states riders must have two legs. The Sheriff's Office found no recklessness, intent, or other criminal wrongdoing. Okay, so let's look at it from a carelessness standpoint, from a negligence standpoint. You have a sign that says riders have to have two legs, yet you have park personnel who they were specifically asked about whether he was fit to go on this particular ride. The park personnel clearly violated their policies. Should they have known and recognized that a double amputee should not have been allowed on this ride? What do you think? Common sense tells you that absolutely, under no circumstance, should somebody like that have been permitted to go on a huge roller coaster ride like that, resulting in tragedy and death to this war hero. The fact that the sheriff's office decided not to bring criminal charges, does that mean that the family would not be able to bring a lawsuit for claims of negligence and carelessness? The answer is no. There's certain elements required to prove a case of carelessness, and that's the standard required in New York. Were they careless? Should they have known? And that's really important. And that's it for today's video. And by the way, if you found this information helpful, here's what I want you to do. See that button below that says like? I want you to press it if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube. This way all of your friends can get the benefit of the same information. I want you to pick up the phone and call me since I can answer your legal questions. This is what I do every single day. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.